Hey guys, so today we are talking all about the turtleneck. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slams. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now, it really, really helps us out and it is completely free. Today we are talking about how to properly wear a turtleneck and I know for some guys and a lot of guys, a turtleneck is one of those garments that's just like, either you feel like a nerd or you feel yeah. like you're gonna look like a nerd or you just feel like you can't pull it off. So today we're gonna go over a few different types of turtlenecks and a few different ways to wear them so you can pull it off perfectly every time. So when most people think of a turtleneck, I think they either think of the type of turtleneck that I'm wearing right now, like spy type turtleneck, or then you think of like Steve Jobs type turtleneck. But there are so many turtlenecks that are in between and totally different than these that work for totally different styles. Yeah, so when I think of turtlenecks, I think of Kevin McAllister. I mean, only because my mom used to put turtlenecks on me when I was a kid and it was, I hated it because they were so uncomfortable and they were kind of geeky and they weren't cool looking. Um, and now that I'm older, I love turtlenecks. I have like, I'm, no lie guys, over 10 or 15 turtlenecks, different styles from thin to thick. I have cable knits, I have uh, monogram, I have, I mean, you name it guys, I got it. So if you guys wanna wear a turtleneck like I have on, which is very thin and sleek, um, I do recommend it as kind of a layering piece if you are not like stick skin or super buff because it kind of does show everything. But if you do throw a coat on or a scarf on over it or just even an overcoat, it's gonna look phenomenal because it's gonna kind of elongate your body and give you that little, you're gonna look a little bit taller. Wearing a turtleneck automatically gives you better posture because you're gonna be upright because the turtleneck goes right to your chin. Keep in mind, it is for the winter. So something like George's, uh, his look is gonna be still more put together and more pristine. He's gonna substitute a turtleneck for a dress shirt. You know, I know in Italy they use the, the, the dress shirts underneath but it isn't too comfortable guys for the winter. Just rock it like this, simple, elevated and uh, classy, right? I've seen people go the other way too. Dress shirt over the turtleneck. I do that, So, but I do that typically with flannel. So if it's like, if I'm going to the snow or it's super cold, I'm gonna use a turtleneck, but I'm gonna use a cotton turtleneck or a- um, Like a thin, thin, thin one. Thin one, yes, but it still has one of those ones that are thermal regulated that keeps you warm and then I'll throw a um, flannel on top. So for the look that I'm using today guys, I pretty much, substituted my turtleneck for a t-shirt. So whereas in the summer you would wear a t-shirt and jeans, in the winter I'm using my turtleneck as a t-shirt-esque. So it's very casual. Um, you can wear it with sneakers, with boots, with jeans. I typically won't wear these types of turtlenecks with dress pants because it's not really made for that. This is more of a, your casual style. Even if you're in LA, guys, it's about 60 degrees. Um, you can still rock the turtleneck, but just do it as its own piece, Right. you know? If you're thin, or you're smaller in frame, it's gonna be easy to pull off. Right, so I know a lot of you bigger guys out there, I am semi in that boat right there. I weigh 215 pounds and I'm 6'1", guys, so I am not a skinny dude. It's a big dude. Um, but for those of you that are weary about maybe like your nipples showing through or like your belly showing, I do recommend, you know, still wearing a thinner turtleneck over like something that's cable knit or like chunky like this guy right here, just because that's going to make you look thicker. So just add a jacket or a overcoat or a scarf over that thin turtleneck and it's going to still slim you out and you're gonna be able to pull it off. And for you thin guys who wanna rock a big turtleneck, you gotta keep in mind that if you're, so someone like myself, I'm, I'm, like, so I'm 5'11", 155 pounds. So if I, if I get a turtleneck that's too big, I'm gonna drown in it, dude. I'm gonna look like like Charlie Brown. It's, it's, not it's too thick, your head's gonna look smaller. It just doesn't, it does not look good. And then my pants are super thin. Um, it just looks unproportionate and unflattering, okay? So you wanna keep in mind that you wanna make sure that it still flows with your body, you know? A personal recommendation, guys, if you are looking for your first turtleneck, I would start at like a, a Zara, H&M, even a Target, and maybe don't buy it, but go and try it on. You know, go in the fitting room, try it on, maybe take your, your friend or your girlfriend, so that way they can see how you look in it, you and know? And take a scarf, take a jacket, yeah. take some accessories. I mean, and dude, then... you could get that all there. Yeah. So just, just go as is, try it on, see how you feel, maybe size down, and then take your normal size. Because sometimes if it's thin enough, guys, it's gonna make you feel kind of buff, you know? It's gonna make you feel like the man, you know? Just give it a try. Right, so for cable knit sweaters like Blake has on, this is a more thicker cable knit, so it's going to be better for a skinnier, slimmer guy. But this sweater that Blake also has is also cable knit, but it's very, very thin, but it still has that kind of texture of the cable knit. So if you want a cable knit sweater, 
Just find one that's a little bit thinner and you'll be able to pull it off a little bit better. I don't recommend spending an arm and a leg on turtlenecks. Uh, yes. Guys, there are great options for... Like 25, a, yeah. 40 bucks. I mean, this turtleneck I got off of uh, ASOS for 20 bucks. You know, it, it was super inexpensive and it's only a turtleneck because it's uh, like a holiday theme. I'm only gonna use it maybe twice a year, max. So I recently just discovered the mock neck, which is not quite a turtleneck, okay guys? It sits right below your neck, a little bit lower than the normal turtleneck. There's no flip or rollover. So it's gonna give you that turtleneck look without giving you the, like that actual like high, high turtleneck that's gonna sit right at your chin. So last but not least guys, I wanna talk about the monogram turtleneck like this. So this is pretty much a standalone piece. You wouldn't really layer it. You can, I wouldn't recommend it because- but Like overcoat only. Yeah, only overcoat because this, I mean, first of all, if it has some sort of design on it, you're right. gonna want people to see it, right? And sometimes it doesn't blend with maybe your pants or your trousers. So keep it like on its own, keep it a little thicker than the normal one because if it's too thin, you're gonna see right through it. Yeah. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video on how to wear turtlenecks. I hope this was interesting for you. Remember guys, if you are thick, skinny, big, small, you can wear a turtleneck. You just need to find the right turtleneck for you and layer it properly. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. It really, really helps us out. If you haven't followed us on Instagram over at Jen's Lounge, give us a follow over there. We will be styling all of these turtlenecks throughout the week. So give us a follow over there. Cheers, Cheers. guys.